U.S. Army vacated Schloss Kasern in Bootsbach several months ago. Soon, the compound will be returned to the German government. The Kasern sits near Bootsbach city center, where, for over a hundred years, it's been occupied by military troops and was once a police academy. The future of the grounds and the buildings, which include a 14th century castle, has local citizens concerned. Peter Mank was 13 when the Americans moved in. He's one of many local businessmen who's concerned about military cuts and the impact they'll have on the economy. Many people used to make big business with this concern for many, many years, building houses and uh, make uh, a lot of business. Even inside the city, the guest houses, uh, the landlords, they feel very sorry about because they know they will lose business. People on farm towns who have built many houses in the last 20 years feel sorry because they think they might uh, get in trouble finance their houses now when the Americans leave. Until Schloss Kasern is officially turned over to the Germans, it's patrolled by 1st Armored Division soldiers 24 hours a day as a guard against vandalism. Once out of American hands, the question of who gets the property opens another avenue of anxiety. As the U.S. Army continues to return property to the German government, cities and towns across the country are becoming caught up in a struggle for ownership. Like Bootsbach, they're competing with commercial enterprise and their own federal government, all with their own aspirations. Officials say it could take two to three years before a final settlement is reached. In Bootsbach, Pam Proper, AFN News.